Hi everybody, it's Darcy and I'm the Bad Artist from London, Ontario. I hope you're having a great night. Today's video is on the Death's Head Moth. Now the trivia question, which is up in that corner, is about a movie and the Death's Head Moth. Uh, if you're my age, you should get it. Or plus or minus five years. But I will give you a hint. A salesman, a census agent, came by my house today to test me. So I ate his liver and I had a nice Chianti and fava beans. <laughs> I always like doing that. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we're talking today about the Death's Head Hawk Moth. Now, uh, specifically the reason they're called these, and you'll be able to see this as the painting goes a little bit, is they have a very characteristic skull-like appearance on their uh, thorax. And also because of that, they've become a huge um, uh, entity in popular movie culture, films, books, um, for a couple hundred years, mostly because they're used to scare people or scare the reader or intimidate people. Uh, let's talk about the moth for a couple quick seconds. As a, uh, it protects itself from chirping at its predators, and I don't mean chirping like in basketball, like, uh, hey, your mother's ugly. Um, but they chirp, the chirping sounds, they also flash these crazy colors on their abdomen. And I don't know if you can see in the painting here, but there's a lot of blues and browns and different colored yellows and even a bit of orange in there. So they're, they're quite a colorful moth. They lay their uh, larvae. The larvae are actually quite large. And it's funny, as they're um, developing, they have mandibles and the larvae will actually uh, attack and bite people if or, or other animals if they are uh, disturbed. They then grow inside a cave while well, they pupate, it's called, and uh, so just to make these things that much more disturbing, they, then they come out of a cave with this skull on their back or on their abdomen. So it's quite interesting that way. As far as popular culture goes, there's been a lot of reference to these in um, popular books and movies, such as Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, as far as the trivia question goes, I, I won't answer this question, just yet, but this was a huge Hollywood movie, um, and it went over exceptionally well with the introduction of these, and that's actually when I started hearing about these things. The skull emblem on the thorax of these moss is so convincing, I thought it was fake. Um, but then as I was doing the research on these and you go through, um, it's really quite fascinating how that forms. Also, Salvador Dali, that the, he's a, um, an abstract artist, very popular. He actually did a movie with reference to these. Um, but they all sort of meant to, as part of the play or movie or book that they've been in, is to stress terror, basically. Even though these are quite harmless, um, there's actually a small society globally of people that actually raise these things and they feed them by hand and they pet them, which just sounds a little bit creepy to me. But um, other than that, um, the one thing about this watercolor you will notice is I've built a lot of layers, um, lots of blues, lots of base yellows. And the reason I did that is because the yellow on these moss um, sort of comes through on small hairs as well as the blues. So I wanted to make sure I just wasn't putting... For example, yellow in just one spot. I wanted a base of yellow, and then I wanted to paint colors on top of that, and if the yellow flashed through, then I thought, okay, that's absolutely fine. Um, other than that, so the answer to the trivia question is um, it's from the movie The Silence of the Lambs, starring uh, Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins. And it is a creepy, creepy show. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's really good. I think it won some Oscars and everything, but it's also sort of brought in a lot of uh, pop culture references, like the uh, my really bad impression of the Anthony Hopkins and the sound he makes while he's describing eating a human's liver because he's a cannibal. Um, 
But other than that, we're getting towards the end. Got a couple neat things coming up. I got a couple of requests for a Filipino um, eagle. Uh, still working on a sea turtle. Um, there's the final there. Um, I was pretty happy with it. There it is photoshopped on a tree to give it a little bit uh, more realism, I guess. But uh, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And send me any suggestions if you have any. Okay, hope you have a great day. Take care.